The Chinese Foreign Ministry has issued a statement saying China deplores the trade deal between the United States and Taiwan. The spokesperson said that the deal violates the One China principle and the U.S. is trying to hollow it out. This comes after Taiwan and the United States signed the first deal under a new trade truck uh, framework. This will boost ties between both the nations. For over a century, visitors have come to Moscow's Tretyakov Gallery to admire the perfect harmony of Russia's famous trinity painted by the legendary Andrei Rublev in the Middle Ages. This month, President Vladimir Putin handed over the historic icon to the Russian Orthodox Church in a latest sign of the tightening of the alliance between Kremlin and religious leaders. Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese met with the Singapore's Deputy Prime Minister Lawrence Wong ahead of the Shangri-La Dialogue in the city-state. Albanese reaffirmed Australia's commitment to regional security. He also met with the Singaporean President Halima Jacob. Um, Albanese is scheduled to deliver a keynote speech at the Shangri-La Dialogue. The U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken signed a declaration on 6G cooperation between Finland and the United States. Blinken is uh, on a visit to Finland. The Foreign Minister of Finland also signed uh, the deal on cooperation on 6G wireless communication technology cooperation. The goal of the new initiative is to build new international partnerships and intensify 6G cooperation. A man opened fire with a pistol at people at a downtown bar in Nantua in eastern France. A 19-year-old boy was killed and two others were injured as per authorities. Investigations are still on and they are on the lookout for the culprit. Chicago City Council approved $51 million in funding to help asylum seekers. Officials in the U.S. city say uh, more needs to be done to address the ongoing crisis. This came as several migrants were seen sitting across the city in open spaces. Authorities are running out of space to house migrants who have been living in police stations and community colleges apart from shelter homes. Supporters of the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program rallied outside a court in Houston, Texas on Thursday. This came as the court heard arguments from a lawsuit from Texas and other states which argued that the program, also known as DACA, violates federal law. Uh, this law is a program brought during the, re during the presidency of Barack Obama which offers deportation relief and work permits to immigrants brought to the country illegally as children. These kids are known as dreamers. As the 34th anniversary of China's Tiananmen Square crackdown approaches, many in Hong Kong are trying to mark the day in private ways in the shadow of a law that prosecuted many activists in the city's pro-democracy movement. The 1989 protest became a large-scale protest which was crushed by the China's Communist Party and many people lost their lives in the same. Several German cities uh, witnessed a scuffle between protesters and the police. This happened as a court in eastern Germany sentenced a woman to over five years in prison. She was sentenced for taking part in a series of attacks on neo-Nazis and other right-wing extremists over a period of two years. The woman was accused, of, accused by uh, prosecutors of having a militant extreme left ideology and conceiving the idea of attacks on far-right individuals in, um, in Germany and far-right groups announced, people, uh, announced plans to protest against the verdict, prompting police to build up a large presence in Lipic in anticipation of the arrest.
Around 1,000 Hungarians uh, rallied in Budapest on Thursday. The protest took place against a new bill on the status of teachers and police violence. The legislation introduced would eliminate the public servant's status for teachers. The rally also targeted tear gassing of teenagers by police during a previous such demonstration. Teachers and students gathered in front of the Interior Ministry with placards and chanted slogans. A Panama uh, prosecutor sought a 12-year jail term for the ex-president Ricardo Martinelli on charges of money laundering. The charges have clouded his chances of contesting elections next year. Martinelli stands accused of having bought a majority share in the editorial Panama American publishing house in 2010 by using illegally acquired state funds and according to prosecutors Martinelli uh, and others used a series of front companies to siphon off almost 44 million dollars from straight infrastructure contracts during his presidency from 2009 to 14. The government of the Democratic Republic of Congo and the International Criminal Court reached a key agreement on war crimes on Thursday. The two sides agreed to strengthen their cooperation in the fight against impunity uh, for war crimes and crimes against humanity. This came after the ICC Chief Prosecutor Karim Khan paid a visit to the country's troubled eastern region. The Chilean President Gabriel Boric says that his government will remain committed to defending human rights. Her remarks were made during uh, his second State of the Union address to the Congress on Thursday. During the speech, Boric reiterated his efforts for defending nature, minorities and promoting freedom. The President also announced that the government will send a bill to Congress this year to seek bids for large-scale energy storage requiring $2 billion in investment. Sri Lanka's President Ranil Vikramasinghe has said that the country's economy is on the path of recovery. Vikramasinghe, during an address attributed the development to the policies introduced by his government, he claimed that the inflation, which was over 70% during its peak, has been reduced to 25.2%. This came after its central bank, in a surprise move, slashed interest rates for the first time in three years, thus signaling a change of course to fuel a rebound in the economy. Uganda's President Yori Museguni has defended signing one of the world's harshest anti-LGBTQ laws. Museguni said that laws which include a provision of death penalty are needed to prevent the members of the LGBTQ community from, and I quote here, recruiting others. The President also termed the community disoriented. Uh, his comments were the first since he signed the bill into law, triggering widespread Western criticism. These also included threats to cut aid and impose sanctions on the African nation. A highway in Texas was hit with heavy floods caused by severe rainfall. Video surfaced online showed vehicles being pushed off the side of the highway. Uh, with some submerged in surging flood water as the rains continue, the National Weather Service has been uh, has issued flash flooding alerts throughout the southern U.S. state of Texas. Four people. So this is West Texas. Uh, I'm about. 
The southern and eastern parts of China are experiencing unprecedented and severe heat waves. Videos showed people walking with umbrellas, wearing hats. In the next three days, most of uh, southern China is expected to be hit by temperatures of more than 35 degrees Celsius. Demand for electricity has also surged in the recent days. China's southern power grid saw its peak power load reach close to its historical highs. At least 20 provinces across Spain were put under rain alert on Thursday. This came as relentless rains triggered floods across the country. A powerful water current was seen flowing down and reaching a main road in the Catalan town. Uh, this forced cars to drive back as water kept flowing down. Nine planes from Italy's aeronautical team swooped down over the historic centre of Rome to mark the 77th anniversary of the founding of the Italian Republic. The planes released smoke in green, yellow and red colours of the Italian flag. Hundreds of people gathered at the Piazza del Polo to witness these celebrations. U.S. President Biden tripped and fell after handing out the last diploma at a graduation ceremony in the U.S. Air Force Academy on Thursday. Upon falling forward, the 80-year-old president was helped by three people. He mingled with other officials afterwards, smiling and giving a thumbs-up sign as he went back to his seat. Unassisted, after returning to the White House, Biden joked, saying, and I quote, I got sandbagged. Jordan's King Abdullah's eldest son, Crown Prince Hussein, married uh, Rajwa Al Saif on Thursday. Saif is the youngest daughter of a prominent businessman from Saudi Arabia. The couple tied the knot in an Islamic marriage ceremony. Around 140 guests, including royals and heads of state, attended the ceremony. Large celebrations were witnessed around the country with Jordanians gathering on the streets, dancing and clapping to celebrate this wedding. 